The woodcock, hunted all over Europe. They're not rare, but their numbers are declining, and not too much is known about this secretive bird. They tend to like certain areas at certain times of year, um, and they stick in that specific spot or just a few metres difference. Jackie Lay is one of 80 volunteers in the new forest beginning to uncover some hard facts. Over the last two years, 14 woodcock have been fitted with tags here. This allows them to be tracked without getting too close and disturbing them. So what exactly is it that you, you've put on the birds? A um, little radio tag, very small, very lightweight, um, and uh, helps us listen to the bird without disturbing its natural behaviour. There are about 80,000 breeding pairs of woodcock resident all year round in Britain. Another million or so come over from Russia just for the winter. The new forest study has also been given sophisticated night vision lenses and highly sensitive microphones. The team is studying the woodcock's courtship and breeding patterns and looking into the way the bird uses the various habitats in the new forest. What is the problem is lack of um, rough grazing pasture because woodcock, everyone thinks the woodcock are forest birds. Well, they are during the day, but at night, particularly in the winter, they come out of the forests, may travel five miles or more, and actually land in the middle of open pasture where they actually feed on worms, worms being probably about 90% of their diet. The new Forest Park Authority has given £12,000 to the study. I think in some areas it can help with how grasslands are managed and how we promote better management of grasslands, but also in terms of uh, woodlands, and also potentially how we can manage habitats so the birds can spread out from the sort of central stronghold into the surrounding countryside as well. They're hard to spot, as this stuffed model shows, but their secrets are coming out. There is information coming in which is new to science. There's no two ways about it. We are finding out things. The members are finding out things that is not known before. Roger Finn for BBC South Today in the New Forest.